Samuro is one of those heroes you play when you want to irritate as many people as possible. Samuro, stop camping! Samuro, stop leading! Samuro, we keep dying all the time for no reason. Could you stop trying to keep us in the game and die with us? I don't care what you're doing and now I'm dead and my hands are free so I'm gonna type a whole bunch to let you know how upset I am that you're moving and I'm not. The other side of that is the constant, unending chase. Good god, we can't catch him! Is he covered in butter? Somebody, please, stop him! You can't. Samuro's a slippery little monkey. With all the move speed, stealth, and teleports, if a Samuro player is even partially paying attention, it takes far more time than it's worth to chase him down. Playing him, you'll need to leverage the speed to your advantage. Get behind enemy lines to cut off minion waves. Take as many camps as possible. Pressure the enemy backline like the annoying mosquito you are and get out before things get ugly. He's like a taller, more handsome tracer, but actually requires skill to play. You wanna know a secret? Samuro isn't that powerful. Because besides moving and dodging, all he does is hit things. Over and over and over again. A few small hits, then a big hit, maybe two. Then more small hits, then hit that subscribe button. He's pretty strong in PvE despite his his pathetic wave clear, which only becomes halfway decent with an alt pick at level 10, but at that point, half the game has gone by. As well, he has no crowd control. None. Not a drop. All Samuro do is hit and dodge thing. Is being annoying utility? Frustrating as he can be, he's far from perfect. The clones that he spawns can be used by the enemy to farm stacks for quests. As well, any hero with good area damage and awareness can pressure Samuro out of the lane. He's not that great in a stand-up fight. For a hero that goes on about honor, you have to play him like a dirty little rat, leveraging your mobility to get an advantage somewhere else. If you can't win the 1v1 with your body, you need to win it with your mind. When it comes to team fights, generally you won't be going into them, angling to secure a pick. Not that you can't, but Sam is meant to divide the enemy team's focus. Unlike other stealth heroes, he doesn't have good burst damage. But drop him in the back line of the enemy team and they'll be too busy with the orc to heal their front line or they'll waste cooldowns trying to deal with you which could be spent on a more important or dangerous target. A skilled Samuro player can apply a lot of pressure knowing how difficult he is to punish. You'll get those kills in the route anyways, so just focus on your micro. Samuro has so many get out of jail free cards in his pockets. Attacking enemies grants move speed, windwalk gives stealth and move speed, and the amount of value you get from your clones depends on how creative you can be with them. At the push of a button, Mirror Image spawns two clones next to Samuro, with the three of you forming an equilateral triangle near the point which the ability was cast. Your body, the real Sam, will teleport and spawn as close as it can to your mouse cursor. It takes some getting used to, but with practice and knowing how the clone's AI work, you can get into the heads of your enemies, fooling them by mimicking AI behavior, or endlessly throwing clones at them until one time surprise, not a clone. Samuro is effectively always where his images are. Image transmission lets Samuro swap places with any active clone so long as it's not stunned, silenced, stasis, or time stopped. Mirror image and image transmission removes you from the map for a fraction of a second, meaning you have a personal cleanse so long as these abilities are off cooldown. Need I say how incredibly powerful this can be? Not only can you escape crowd control, but you can disjoint your hitbox, avoiding targeted spells and auto attacks, drop damage over time effects, and dodge incredibly damaging abilities. Now, these images truly are clones of Samuro. With all the upsides and downsides, other than the soulless AI behavior, the biggest differences between the real Samuro and his images are the increased damage that they take, the pitiful damage that they deal, and the fact that if Samuro has a regen effect on him, like a a globe or a healing well, then it's pretty obvious which is the real one. These images will remember the most recent attack command given before spawning so you can sick them on a specific target, but they will prefer to attack whatever's in range if placed next to a targetable target. Wow, what a great ability. Surely it has no downsides. It do. I've said it twice and I'll say it again. These clones count as heroes and so can help the enemy team farm stacks for their quests. Spamming this ability thoughtlessly will lead to your enemies getting their power spikes early. Just be smart about it. Plus, if someone is running after you with stacks in their eyes and dings in their ears, you can lead them on a wild goose chase because you're so damn fast. Windwalk instantly increases Samuro's baseline move speed by 20%, grants him stealth, and heals him slowly so long as the stealth is maintained. Now you might be thinking, all this cleanse and a self-heal? How is Samuro not the most broken hero ever? To that I say, play him a little bit and let me know how strong you feel afterwards. This is not a combat heal. Once stealth breaks, the regen disappears, and in a fight, if you're standing around regenerating for 10 seconds, 
what are, what are you doing? It is, however, fantastic for recouping hit points when rotating. Yeah, it's not as fast as mounting, but it is instant, and you get health to boot. Since Samuro doesn't use mana, this is great for staying active on the map while your opponents may need to back. You can use Windwalk in combat to drop attack targeting, but uh, come on, you guys knew this, you're smart cookies. Critical Strike resets Samuro's auto attack animation and causes it to deal 50% increased damage. A simple damage increase for one auto attack on a 10 second cooldown. But the way Sam's attack works is that, except with a specific talent, every fourth hit is a critical strike, and you can bank this crit. Set it up with three auto attacks, mosey over to your real target, crit, W, crit again. This is about as bursty as you can get on this hero, but it's fairly easy to pull off. Be aware that if you mistime this ability and hit W with a crit in the barrel, you're wasting the cooldown. Bladestorm covers a gaping hole in Semero's kit, giving him some much needed area of effect damage on a fairly quick cooldown for an ultimate. But what Bladestorm giveth, Bladestorm taketh away. Samuro is locked out of all his other abilities while spinning. What he gets in return for pushing the button is 25% armor and a decent amount of DPS on nearby enemies. Knowing when to use this in a fight is crucial. The ability to weave in and out of danger is what makes Samuro so strong, and giving all that up early will have you reconsidering your choices from spawn. More likely, you'll take this so that you can rotate from your lane, delete a wave quickly, and then keep running towards whatever fight you're currently needed at. Maybe this hero isn't the best pick for a beginner's guide. I'm gonna be honest, I rarely pick this. Both from a lack of want and a lack of skill. Illusion Master doubles your clone's damage and nearly halves image transmission's cooldown. Again, you'll get the most out of this ability depending on how tricky you can be. You can control each clone individually or as a group. With this ult, your images can get up to a lot of shenanigans, gaining the ability to mount, hearth, drink from fountains, fake objective caps, and since now you control how they behave, it makes it easier to mimic their moves. You'll have to figure this one out on your own. Controlling three thing is too many thing too many for me brain. Samuro has a reputation for being incredibly oppressive. What you don't see is all the time spent getting bodied by more well-rounded characters to the point where it's more useful to be somewhere else. Abusing this hero's mobility is key, and while he can be extremely frustrating to play against, a few matches as Samuro will have you wondering why you aren't getting your free wins on a clearly broken hero. If you think I'm wrong, just play him a little bit. You'll see. You'll see. Samuro video might be a little boring because all I'm doing is killing minion waves.